Yeah. Hi folks. Um, well, it's Sunday the 9th of November now. Um, and it's time to come and join me in my greenhouse again. And um, I'm going to show you a couple of my new favourite things in the greenhouse, um, which this beer isn't one of them, that's always been in here. Um, and then I'm going to do a big tidy up in here, um, take care of one of these tomato plants which has reached the end of its life, um, play with some H2O2 and clean out this bottom rail, and um, yeah, give you a quick tour of the plants and what's going on. Now you can see there's damp patches on the floor of my greenhouse and even though it's a beautiful sunny day it's continually raining in here because um, yeah there's quite a humidity problem it's um, really really very damp and I did try putting a dehumidifier in here for a couple of days and it didn't make a difference at all but then I came up with a different idea which seems to work really well drip drip Now I don't know if you know how dehumidifiers work, but the general idea is you have a very cold surface inside the unit on which all the uh, water from the air condenses and then a drain container for it. Now, having tried a dehumidifier in here and it didn't really make much difference, I was then struck by the fact that I've already got a very cold surface on which all the water's condensing and all I need is a way of getting rid of it. So I got myself one of these Karcher window back things. Right, you can see, I'm not sure if that's showing up on the camera, but we're already pretty much maxed out the tank just doing those few windows. Um, extremely effective, I do need to do it every day, but um, yeah, that's taking care of my humidity problem for me. And at this time of year, it really does make a huge difference when you clean the glass off to the amount of sunlight that can get into the plants, because we're down to something like nine and a half hours a day of sunlight in the UK now, so not really that much thermal energy, so the more of it I can get to the plants, the better. And of course the other great advantage with controlling humidity this way is it keeps the windows lovely and clean. It's, um, it's superb. So that's one of my favourite things. Time for number two. But before that, I'm just going to quickly show you last week's harvest. Oh yeah, can you tell it's November? It's raining, it's cold, it's horrible. Anyway, in here we've got the harvest for Sunday the 3rd of November and a couple of little wasted ones there. Now my favourite thing number two might not look too exciting but I'll, I'll take you a run through the whole thing. So I've got this caravan water pump, they also get sold as fuel transfer pumps and I got this one, well actually I had this one kicking around in the garage but it's got a nearly totally flat bottom on it which means when it drains it'll drain basically down to the bottom of the tank and I've taken a one way check return valve here so once the water's been pumped up that way it can't flow back. Go. So we can drain this, let's pretend this is a reservoir and you can see we can get right down to the bottom there and then when I turn it off nothing drips back the other way. So that's absolutely superb because that means when I empty my nutrients um, they don't go all over the floor and I don't spill them as I tip them from place to place. The other clever thing about this is um, part two, it's kind of outside the greenhouse but this hose follow it all the way it goes up to this green hose which I've got going up and then through the wall there and then to my outdoor waste nutrients water butt. And of course when the weather's nice and sunny you just pour your waste nutrients straight into a watering can and water them on the flowers but having this at the back of the greenhouse gives me a hundred litres of storage capacity oh I'm being photobombed a um, hundred litres of storage capacity so I can store the waste nutrients until it is a nice sunny day like today. 
Right, I'm going to give you a quick look at things in the greenhouse right now and then I'll get on with some work. As you can see, the peppers are still getting bigger. Um, I think that's the last two on that particular plant, so I'm going to give this plant a massive prune back. Oh, that's another one. Okay, that's the last three on that particular plant, but I'm going to give this plant a massive prune back and take it back to just the branches that have got fruit on. This pepper up here has still got another seven I can see on there, three or four of which need harvesting. I think this big pepper plant in the middle is down to its last one now, so I might pull that one out altogether. And these two at the end are still producing peppers. Um, you can see I've had the yellow stickies around the place and I've been collecting a huge variety of um, black fly, I think they're fungus gnats, green fly and white fly. And actually I had one of the leaves from this strawberry plant under the microscope a couple of days ago. So I can show you um, a very close up of a big fat nasty green fly that was on the leaf and a couple of these white flies and, and you'll see me prodding them with a piece of uh, very thin copper wire, they're tiny little things and they all seem to be dead. Now I have been spraying the plants with some Canna Cure which is um, incredibly expensive stuff but it certainly seems to have worked against the white flies, it hasn't done much against the, against the green flies. So this tomato plant here is basically done for now. We've got half a dozen tiny tomatoes, we do have a new sprout shooting there but that was there a week ago and I gave it lots of food and it's really not doing anything anymore that tomato plant but this one here is still producing and more tomatoes coming and that uh, truss down there is looking quite good and around here we're looking pretty fine as well so that tomato plant's going to live for another couple of weeks and um, the garden pearl is flowering nicely but I'm not sure any of these flowers are developing into new tomatoes at all. I've been in here every couple of days and tapped on these flowers to try and get some pollination going but I'm not sure that's working. The bottom NFT rail I'm going to clean out altogether. I'm going to pull a couple of remaining plants out of there. Um, this, this particular pot looks alright but everything else looks kind of sad except for the golden berry at this end. It started flowering and it looks quite happy down there so I'm going to transplant that to something else so I can clean that bottom rail out. Strawberry plants, now these are the plants that have been getting the Canna Cure treatment and um, certainly the leaves are looking lovely on them. We've got plenty of flowers coming through still and we've got fruit, fruit growing. But this bed of garlic is looking superb, so much so that I gave up on my spring onions that were from seed, they're not really going anywhere fast and I stuck some more garlic in here and that's now started sprouting as well so I'm very very happy with the garlic, they look ever so healthy and the onions are certainly growing fast but um, not looking too amazing though I don't know if this is because they've got too much water that these aren't standing up or just because they're growing too quickly or I, I, I honestly don't know but um, they're growing, that's the main thing Right, I'll get on with some work Feels like quite a sad moment this, because this plant has been here. Well, I've been growing this plant since before I had a greenhouse. So it's a um, great shame to see it on its way out now. But really, there's just no point keeping it going because these fruits have stopped getting bigger. This is going to be one of those waffle parts that I cut out, isn't it? Well, now we're quite a sad looking site. Not much left of that anymore. But it does mean I can do something I haven't done for months and months and months. I can do it, show us your roots. And, uh, well, that's how we're looking. So those are going to fit up through the neck there. Well, if I give them a squish. Stolen an airstone. Well, the tomato is gone now, so I've dropped the golden berry in its place, and I've had a big hack back at these peppers, and I've basically taken off all the branches that didn't have peppers on them. So I say that I haven't done that one. Nearly all the branches that didn't have peppers on them. Well, here's the not particularly impressive harvest for Sunday, the 9th of November. Um, I could have taken some more peppers, but they might as well stay on the uh, plant and grow a little longer. 
That's about it from me today. The, uh, it's starting to get cold and dark and we're having our fireworks tonight so I'm going to stop playing about in the greenhouse and um, concentrate on warmer things and beer and things like that. So take care folks, see you next time.